Hi everyone, it's Natalie with Crochet by Natalie Lucille and today we are going to learn how to do the magic circle. And what I love about the magic circle is if you're making a hat or anything that's in the round, it cinches up your beginning loop circle to uh, where there's, it cinches it tight where there's no opening. And um, anytime I work anything that um, says to do like a slip knot crochet three or, or chain three or four and then uh, slip stitch it into the first and I don't worry about that I just literally just do a magic circle and I'll show you why so we'll go ahead and get started you have your yarn I just have just a simple nice soft cottony yarn I'm using an H8 five millimeter hook I have a tapestry needle to weave in my ends at the end of the tutorial and I have my Okay, so what I like to do is when I'm working a magic circle, I start with um, a tail that's a little bit longer. And it makes sense in the end, I promise. So what you want to do is cross over like that. And I like to fold down my loop over my long piece of yarn like that so it almost looks like a pretzel and the part that you're actually going to be working is this right here so you still have your tail insert your hook and that's what you're going to be working with so just for today uh, we're going to chain three to start the work so you're just starting your work so it almost becomes like your first little hook so once you do your chain three, now it becomes your working yarn. So I'm going to do 11 double crochets around in the loop. Just, I just grabbed a number out of the air, honestly. So yarn over, insert into this circle, draw up. Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. That's your double crochet. So we are going, that's our number three because our chain three counts as the first double crochet in this one. Four. Five. And see how we're still working in our circle? I'm just going to pull that just a little bit tighter. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and last one, twelve. So notice how if I were, what's before I even do that? Because you see how large the hole is? Just cinch it a little bit. Because even when I attach or connect my last double crochet to the first chain three with the slip stitch, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to slip stitch into the top. If I left it like this, that's what you have. You have this gaping hole. Um, if you're trying to make a hat, unless you're putting a, a, a bobble or um, anything on the top, the, this that's just not going to work. So what you do is remember you have your tail. Sorry. <laughs> And what you're going to do, I like to hold my work kind of like in between my fingers and I just kind of pull it tight. So once you start pulling it tight, you can see how it cinches. Now, another thing that I like to do, let's say if I'm finishing and I just want to make a circle. Um, when I get my working yarn, not my tail, I will cut that. And fasten it off kind of pull it a little bit not tight where you're you're not 
pulling so much that you would break the yarn, but this is what it would look like. And so I still pull it just a little bit tighter. And what I like to do, <laughs> I'm like the world's worst seamstress, but I do my best. <laughs> Put the working yarn, not the tail, in your tapestry needle and you're going to lightly kind of work your ends in just kind of follow it around and you just pull it through don't pull it tight see just just to hold it in place and what I like to do to ensure that say if this is my hat um, or even a granny square that the the magic circle is not going to loosen over time. Because remember, you just kind of cinched it, but once you start, if you if it's a hat and you start wearing it, that um, yarn will kind of get a little loose. So you just lightly, don't pull it um, so tight where it warps your work. And you just tie it into a knot. So your work... Mm -hmm. A little fuzz there. And there you have, see? And it, it, and these are great, you can make them for embellishments. I did some hearts earlier, and so I used the magic circle in the center of the hearts. So you can see, they won't, they stay nice and snug. And then you just, once you're done with this, you just, Cut off your tails. Just like that. Easy peasy. Thanks, everyone.